I've got one sandwich takes so long. Keith, I'm starving! Here you are, my little bottomless pit. Are you topless this morning? Stop it. I don't think I could take that long to put a piece of bologna between two pieces of bread. What is wrong with you? What have you been doing? What are you hiding? You're hiding something, aren't you? Yes, I have something I want to show you. I have something up my toga. I... No, not that. I just, give, give me a second. Just take a second. Come on. That's what I'm you sorry. always say. All right, go ahead. You're, you ready? Are you ready? Oh. <laughs> crazy? That's ridiculous. That is absurd. Why? Look, if I wanted to marry a man with tattoos, I would have married a sailor. Okay. What? Well, that is, it's indelible, you know. Oh. You're scarred for life. No, no, I just painted it on. What do you think took me so long? Come on, just a little soap and water and poof, it's history. Let's poof it. I'm tired of it already. You know, I, I cannot figure you out. You think a map of Florida on Mason's butt's adorable. Here I like to paint a little something on mine, Adam, and you think I'm nuts. It's a little silly. Would you stop being so jealous and trying to copy whatever Mason... Yeah. Checking your savings. Who, what? Well, who did it? No, thank you. No, yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Who was that? Thank you. Did you bounce a check? I wish. Listen, I got to get to the office. Mason? Yeah? It's 4 o'clock. So? So, the day that you, you came home, you called Father Michael and wanted to discuss a day and time. You wanted to discuss the wedding at this particular day and time, and this is the time. Oh, sorry. I uh, guess I forgot. Is there a problem? Say what? Say what? Actually, I, I thought it might be a good idea if we waited a little bit until we both could uh, manage the adjustment. Um, do you remember anything you said? Yeah, sure, I remember. Because whenever I bring it up, now you kind of do an immediate U-turn, and I just wanted to know why. I didn't realize that's the way it was coming across. I'm worried about you, Mason. If you're having second thoughts, it's okay. It really is. Just let me know, and I think maybe we should postpone this until you're feeling a little better. Julia, for heaven's sake. No, really, I, I mean it. You've been through a lot, I've been through a lot, and maybe we should just wait. Not on your life. I would really like us to feel right about this, both of us. Well, I do, Julia. I do feel right about it. I'm sure. Sure as can be. Can I get you anything? Some tea? Mm. No, thanks. It's enough just to be someplace without fluorescent lights and plastic chairs. Yeah, that clinic is not the most comforting place in the world. That shouldn't be the first place you go. And you really shouldn't have to answer 10 million questions either. But, you know, it's really the only way. You know, first, I just wanted to keep myself curled up in a ball forever. But then I remembered what you said on TV about how the longer you wait, the, the harder it is to make yourself report it. So I just picked up the phone. Well, thank God you did. Because time is crucial at this part of the investigation, you know? We already cordoned off your house. I try to start the search for evidence immediately. I've asked for permission to do the forensic stuff myself, and I'm going to arrange for somebody to stay here with the two of you while I go back to Wendy's place. No. No, it'll be okay. He'll put a guard right outside the door. I mean, we'll be safe. Everything will be all right. I think I should go, too. At the apartment? I don't want to go back there, but I think I should be there. Wendy, I think you should stay here, at least for one no, night. No, I need to watch. I need to see what you find. Please, let me come with you. Please. I need to know how you, what you're going to use. I need to know how you're going to catch him. I need to believe you will catch him before he does this to anybody else.
and Mason are having an argument? No, we're not having an argument. What are we having? I don't know. I'm really confused. You see, one day he's on his knees, he's proposing to me, and the next day he just turns around and he acts like I'm a sixth grade teacher and he's got lifetime detention. Well, we talked about the kind of adjustment that he must be going through. I mean, it must be difficult to have this huge gap in your life that you're unable to fill. It must affect him more than we know. Obviously so, because he's uh, drinking. He's talking in monosyllables. He's taking all-night walks on the beach. He's not talking to me, however. Well, maybe he doesn't think you'd be able to understand. <sighs> uh, or maybe he just doesn't love me anymore. Well, what's all the whispering about? You two been taken with the Vespers or something a little less religious? Mason. Hello. Father Michael. Would you like me to go check on oh. Samantha? No, it's all right. I'll do it. I was just asking Julia if you have any special thoughts uh, about the wedding ceremony. Special thoughts? Yes, uh, a lot of people like to add their own personal vows, or they have a special reading from the Bible or poetry they'd like to have read. Well, I guess I haven't gotten that far in the planning stage yet. Well, the day will get here before you know it, so I wouldn't wait too long before I would start taking it seriously. Who says I'm not taking it seriously? Well, I'm sure you must be. You're marrying an extraordinary woman. You should know you've been spending more time with her than I have. And whose fault is that? Don't you try to pass judgment on me, Padre. This is a strictly human observation. I watched Julia mourn you. Day after day for months, she was in agony. I don't think that you have the right to make her suffer anymore now. And I don't have to listen to this. Oh, fine, that's right. Uh, you have something better to do? Walk out on her again. Go get drunk. Uh, leave her here to wonder why the hell she uh, lets you keep hurting her again and again. Where'd he go? Rachel's wife, late 20s, scrub nurse at the city hospital. She was taken to the rape crisis facility at the downtown clinic, where accompanying officers did preliminary questioning prior to the medical exam. She then went home with Cruz Castillo and his wife. Now, Mrs. Castillo was the first person the victim contacted after seeing her on a television show. She's the Castillos now? But actually, they're on their way back here. Same as though Emma was the other one? Yeah. Assailant wore a mask, had a knife, took her up to the shower to get rid of any incriminating evidence. That's the part I choke yeah. on. I mean, calm, studied perversity of the thing. Washes her off afterwards like she's some soiled handkerchief. Hello. Hi, it's me. You okay? Yeah. Where, uh, where are you? I called your office. They said you were called out in an emergency. Yeah, I was. Well, what's going on? Is it more bank stuff? Tell me what's happening. You're scaring no, it, me. It's not the bank. It's um. I just called to see if you're all right. Well, of course I'm okay. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Keith, what is going on? Why won't you tell me where you are? There's been another rape. Oh, no. Is it the same man that raped Eden? I thought he was locked up. I'm not sure of anything right now. I just, uh, I want you to lock up and be careful until I get there. I'm on my way, okay? All right. But hurry. I just didn't expect 
expect to see you. That's all. I keep thinking you're going to be at home when you're supposed to be. Why you can't stay there for more than 10 minutes is beyond me. Well, you try hanging around the house where you're supposed to be whistling, here comes a bride every five minutes. Hard on the nerves. I don't understand. All this wedding talk's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Don't worry about it. Just pretend, you know, like you are pretending everything else. I mean, you don't have to stay married to the woman forever. As soon as you get your money, you can be... You know, fancy free and foot loose, you can go to Las Vegas, spend as much of it as you want, you know, to see Julia or Santa Barbara ever again. Yeah, if a good father doesn't march me back here with a 12-gauge between my shoulder blades. What's Father Michael got to do with it? Well, I do believe that the good padre has taken an unholy shine to my fiancé. He keeps asking me questions about my intentions, that kind of thing. I'm pretty sure that if I decide to give her up, he's gonna go after himself. Well, that's a sacrilegious thought. <laughs> I guess, after all, he's only human, and he's awfully cute. You think it's cute when a man of the cloth gives in to plain old lust? Oh, come on, Sonny, what's wrong? Jealous? All right, that's it. You want Mason Capo, you better let the real one out of hiding or wherever you got him, because this old boy's saying adios. No, I, I was just teasing. Just kidding. <laughs> no amount of money is worth this kind of headache. Oh, come on, Sonny. She know me. Besides, the hard part's all over. I mean, you've already convinced everybody that you're Mason Catwell. That's what really matters. Just hang on for a few more months, and you're going to be rich. Incredibly rich. That's the way you say. <laughs> I don't know if I could come in here. We don't have to come in here. We can leave right now. We don't have to come in here. Mrs. McMahon, I'm Victor Boswell. I'm with the police. Now, I realize you've already answered a lot of questions today, but I'd appreciate it if I could confirm just a few things with you. It makes your case stronger if your answers are consistent. Uh, has someone already explained that to you? I can leave. I don't need to see no. you. No. Stay. Is that OK? Sure. Now, you described your assailant as being approximately six feet tall. I think so, yes. And did you see his face? No, he was wearing um, a mask, a black ski mask. And did he have a weapon? He had a knife, a very thin blade. All right. Now, the shower was running when my men and I arrived. Can you explain why? He uh, dragged me into the shower. After uh, he was <clears throat> finished, I guess he didn't. He wanted to make sure that there was nothing they could use against him when they did the examination. Thank you very much. I have just a few more questions to ask you. It won't take very long. Oh, dear God. He did the same thing with me. He took me to the water. It's the same person. It's the same person. You've been a tremendous help, but there's really nothing you can do here now. And I think it'd be good to get back on neutral ground and get some rest. Cruz, this is my home. He thought of... He could violate my world so that I'd never feel comfortable it again. And I can't let him win. Good for you. Thank you for everything. Both of you. Wendy, I'm sorry, but I just can't leave you here alone. That's out of the question. Well, I, I can stay. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Well, you said that you could get a guard. I mean, the apartment isn't huge, and... There's limited access. You could put a guard right outside the door. She has to choose where she wants to spend tonight. Okay. Okay, we'll post a guard and uh, I'll get back here as soon as I drop these things off. You hang tough.
Are you sure you want to do this? It seems a little bit early for you to be taking this kind of responsibility on yourself. I'm the only person that she's talked to that this has happened to. And if I can help her feel less afraid, then I'm going to. Believe me, it's going to help me, too. You amaze me. very wrong here very wrong and I don't really know what to do about it he can't seem to make the adjustment and neither can I unless this whole thing is just a big crock wouldn't that be a hoot if he's just putting on this whole thing just so it disguises the fact that that he just fell in love with someone while he was away well, I don't think that's true or he wouldn't have come back <laughs> maybe he thought it was his duty to come back you know and he, and he could forget her, but then he realized somewhere along the line that he can't. I don't, I don't think so. I think he's just, I think he's scared of getting married. <laughs> well, what else is new? <laughs> That's old news. It's boring. Besides, every man I've ever been with is afraid of getting married. <laughs> it's amazing. It's pathetic, really, how I have a knack to pick men with the exact same phobia. Unless, of course, maybe all men are like that. And all women my age who are single in the, in the United States just can't find what they want and think that it doesn't exist. Well, it does exist. And no one deserves it more than you do. So whatever you do, you don't settle for less. How did you never get here? Sorry, it was rush hour. I, uh, I were you afraid of being alone? I wasn't alone the whole time. Sonny came over for a couple of minutes. For once, I was glad to see him. So what happened? I mean, you said this girl was raped. He didn't kill her, too, did he? No. Who was it? It was a uh, nurse. I, I, don't, I, I don't know her. At least I didn't recognize the name. They showed me a picture of something from... I think when she graduated from nursing school, she had such a trusting look on her face, like she was going to get everything the world owed her. And... It reminded me of you when you were 13. You must have been trusting that way until it was taken away from you. Well, the worst part about it was I thought it was all my fault. My mother said that it happened to me because I wore too much makeup and I, and I bleached my hair to look older. Nobody deserves to be treated that way. You know, we... We play a lot of games, but I hope you don't think there's anything make-believe about this marriage. No, of course not. I mean, I think you do the fantasies because you think I need them, but I don't need them. All I need is for you to answer the phone and say you're okay. I'd die if anything happened to you. Wendy, are you okay? What's that? I went into my closet to put some clothes away and I noticed this on the table by the bed. It's not yours? No. It doesn't have a label. Well, you don't suppose one of the cops left it? I don't think so. Even I have a really weird feeling about this. Well, I think we should wait till Cruz gets back from the lab. I mean, maybe you shouldn't even be touching it. I just can't stand not knowing where this came from. I'm gonna play it. Wendy, wait. Are you sure you want to do this?
Tonight, track and field highlights the Olympic agenda with the women's 4x100 relay, featuring Florence Griffith Joyner and Evelyn Ashford. Also, the men's and women's 1,500-meter finals. And three Americans go for the gold in boxing, Michael Carbajal, Kennedy McKinney, and Ray Mercer. The Olympics are live tonight only on NBC.